Hey y'all, Pepper Guy here. Um, so today I wanted to talk about my uh, my gravity ir irrigation uh, system, and um, I've been wanting to talk about it for a while, but I wanted to go a little more in depth today. Um, so yeah, every every pot I've got here, which we've got twenty, are uh, are fed by. You can see this pipe going around. Um, it's all rainwater and uh, I collect it all on the roof here. So I guess the best place to start would just be right there on the roof. So I'll be there in one second. All right, so not too much to see up here, but um, this is where it all starts. You know, I've got this, um, got this gutter sloped down to the end there where it's collected. And um, this roof is um, 125 square foot. So that means about every inch of uh, rain we get, I'll get about 65 to 70 gallons of water. Uh, so I'll meet you there on the other end. All right, so I know this don't look that great, but there's some, um, some filters in there that I put that when this water comes in, it just pretty much collects these leaves and sticks and stuff. And then it travels down here, which that is a, a transmission fluid funnel. <laughs> it works fine. It looks ugly, but it works great. Um, and then the water goes one of two places. So uh, when I have it open, this pipe here fills up my rain barrel. There we go. Uh, yeah, so it fills up my rain barrel. Right now it's kind of low, but um, that rain barrel is usually filled, and that's how I water all the um, um, our outside pot plants, some of my wise flowers and stuff. Uh, there's a valve right here so when that is full i'll close that valve off and then the water goes inside which i'll show you there in a second all right so inside my garage this was directly from the the source there uh water will come in here um usually i leave this on but if i you know if my tanks are full i'll close it um and this is all graded downward it comes down you got it when you have like a low gravity uh, or a gravity fed irrigation system, you got to help it by um, making as much uh, sl um, slopes as possible so the water will move better. But um, you can see so the water comes pretty much at the top of this tank and, um, and fills this tank up here. Um, and then plus it's also hooked here to a second tank. So these are like, these are 35 gallon tanks. Um, and yeah, they become one system as I've got them hooked. This always stays open. Um, some of the, there is some dirt that does come from the uh, rainwater and it pretty much just settles here at the bottom of this tank. Um, but I've got multiple filters before it gets out to the drippers and those really never get clogged up surprisingly. Um, I was having problems with having like an overflow type um, valve installed because, you know, it's common. We'll get a couple inches of rain um, and, and a little storm. So, um, so this is what I decided to do. Um, just, you can see the, there's the water level. You see it's exactly. So this just becomes one system when everything's open. Um, so as the water fills, this, this goes up, this goes up, this goes up, it goes up to here. And you see since the inline, is, the water's coming in here, as long as this is below it, um, when, this, when the level gets high enough, it'll come here and go out and just go outside. And just, that goes out to my yard. And that's worked beautifully. Um, so, so yeah, this is a pretty self-sustaining system. The only thing that I need is this. Um, this is a, a timer uh, from Toro. You can see there's all kinds of, um, on the left there, that valve uh, run time, anywhere from one minute to um, 120 minutes. Um, I typically will water for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes at a time. Um, yeah, and then you can go, you know, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, uh, hours, 24 hours, every two days, every three days. Um, when it's really hot, I'll pretty much do like a 15 minute drip every 24 hours when it's like in the 90 plus. Um, and yeah, 
and it works exceptionally well. This just takes two AA batteries. Um, I think I replace them like once a year. So uh, really two AA's is what's running my whole watering system. Um, but yeah, then you can see water follows out there and then I'll take you outside and we'll go from there. All right, so this is directly from where I just came from. We got a down slope and it comes and slopes down even further. So let's go in the greenhouse. And by the way, um, the tanks are not placed just w randomly wherever I want. Um, they have to be high enough. So see, this is where the water comes from. They have to be just high enough to where water can feed into them automatically, you know, without just from gravity. But then they have to be, um, well, I guess they have to be low enough for the water to, to fill them up automatically. But then they have to be high enough to give um, enough pressure to be able to push out to each one of these plants. And um, I think it's every foot your water source is above your plants, you get like 0.4 PSI's of pressure. And since the tanks are about a foot and a half, you know, I guess we got like 0 0.6, 0 0.7 PSI's. So very, very low. So for that reason, as much as I possibly can, I slope every single line down. So like where this line started, I think it's about two feet. And where it ends here, it's only about a foot. So it's just a gradual slope all the way down. But um, yeah, um, that's it. I really didn't get any blueprints, just kind of common sense. I mean, gravity's <laughs> gravity's always working for us and it's free, so use it. Um, but that's it. I'll go ahead and turn it on um, just to kind of show you what kind of, um, how much pressure it's got, what it looks like. So I'll be right back. All right, so you just turn this to on. That's it. All right, so 0 0.6, 0 0.7 PSI. Look at that, it's already, that's dripping. Every once in a while, to, and, and typically the water's gonna fill up. It's gonna fill up this thing and it's gonna get all the way down to here. Once it gets to here, then all the all the lines will, will start dripping. Um, it does occur once in a while where, um, yeah, there we go. See, once in a while, um, a line will get stopped up. I mean, it just, it happens sometimes. Um, let's see. But for the most part, if you have the water level within, you know, if there's at least 20 or so, and sometimes it doesn't look like it's dripping, um, 20 or 30 pounds or 20 or 30 gallons, it will, um, oh, that one's not dripping yet. Yeah, all these other ones are going. Uh, but you can see, I mean, it's 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 pretty basic, it's pretty simple. If you don't have, you know, water running out to your uh, to your greenhouse, this is just an option. And, um, you know, the more, the longer I do this, the, the more I think about how much rainwater is just wasted. Um, and these plants love, love, love rainwater. It's just so, I keep turning my camera off. Um, it's got no impurities in it, you know, no minerals, n none of that stuff. It's uh, it's about as pure as you get, and plants love it. And, and it's usually nice and warm too, which they also love. Um, yeah, so they're pretty much, they're all going. Seems like there was one over there, yeah. This one that wasn't going is now going. They'll just, they fill up, and they'll eventually get to everything, but, but that's really it, y'all. I just wanted to, um, just wanted to show that. And um, if y'all got any questions, I'm no engineer. I'm not a professional with this, but I had an idea and did it and it works really well. Um, these doors, the way I've got them, they're all overlapped on the side. So, I mean, it can really come down a hard rain and there's not a drop that gets in here. Um, and and it's, it's pretty cool at how, how accurate that uh, calculation I said before. It's... Um, Every inch of rain is about 65 gallons. So my tanks hold about 65. So if they're totally empty, we get an inch of rain, they're, they're completely full. And um, 
yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason to get any pressure system right now. Ideally, I would have a pressurized system with a water pump and everything, but I'm not, I don't know how long we're going to be here in this house. So I'm just not going to run water out here. Um, I hope that wasn't off. Um, anyways, that's, I guess that's it. I appreciate y'all watching. And if y'all got any questions, let me know or any advice. Uh, let me know if maybe I'm doing something dumb or stupid and that's fine. Just let me know. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for some updates on these, uh, these plants that I've got. It looks like they're, I'm going to start doing a, uh, a first harvest here soon. So that's it. Thanks for joining me.